Welcome to Sujitra Statistics classes. Let us discuss interrelation among normal, chi-square, T and F distribution. We know that the parent population of chi-square, T and F distributions are normal. This we are taking samples from a normal population for preparation of chi-square statistics, T statistics and F statistics. So let us read this text. The parent population of a statistic such as chi-square, T and F distributions are drawn from a normal population. If x1, x2, etc, xn are n samples drawn from a normal population n mu sigma then x minus mu by sigma follows n01. Similarly x bar minus mu by sigma by root n follows n01. That is standard normal distribution where x bar equal to sigma xi by n. And square of n01, that is square of a standard normal variate is a chi-square statistic with 1 degree of freedom. Therefore, x minus mu by sigma all square is a chi-square statistic which follows a chi-square distribution with 1 degree of freedom. Again, x bar minus mu by sigma by root n all square is another chi-square statistic which follows a chi-square distribution with 1 degree of freedom. So we can write for x minus mu by sigma all square is equal to chi-square 1. What is the meaning of this? This is a chi-square statistic. With 1 degree of freedom. Statistic mean a function of samples drawn from a random variable. Again x bar minus mu by sigma by root and all square is another chi square random variable with 1 degree of freedom. Then sum of square of n standard normal variates follows a chi-square distribution with n degree of freedom. Sigma i varies from 1 to n, xi minus mu by sigma all square as well as sigma i varies from 1 to n, x bar minus mu by sigma by root n all square. These are two sum of squares of standard normal variates. So these two functions or statistic follows a chi-square distribution with n degree of freedom. So we can write sigma i varies from 1 to n xi minus mu by sigma whole square follows chi-square distribution with n degree of freedom. Similarly sigma i varies from 1 to n x bar minus mu by sigma by root n all square follows chi square n. But it just doesn't mean this one equal to this one. This function is equal to this one. Again we know that n square by sigma square follows chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom where s square equal to 1 by n sigma xi minus x bar all square. The ratio of a standard normal variate to the square root of a chi-square variate divided by its degrees of freedom is a t-statistic which follows a t-distribution with a degree of freedom of chi-square variate. t is equal to n01 divided by root of chi-square n divided by n follows a t distribution with n degrees of freedom. So t distribution has the same 
degrees of freedom as that of chi square variate and one example of this t1 we know that x bar minus mu by sigma by root n follows n01 and n square by sigma square follows chi square n minus 1 therefore t equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n divided by square root of n square by sigma square by n minus 1 that is x bar minus mu divided by s divided by root n minus 1 is a t statistic which follows a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom ratio of two chi square variate divided by their respective degrees of freedom is a f statistic that is if y1 follows chi square n1 means chi square distribution with n1 degrees of freedom and y2 follows a chi square distribution with n2 degrees of freedom then y1 divided by n1 divided by y2 divided by n2 is a f statistic that is f equal to y1 by n1 divided by y2 by n2 follows f distribution with n1 n2 degrees of freedom so if you are taking the reciprocal of this y that's 1 by y which is equal to y2 by n2 divided by y1 by n1 which is again another f distribution with degrees of freedom n2 n1 so we are writing the degree of freedom of numerator first and degree of freedom of denominator second in f distribution then square of t statistic with n degree of freedom is a f statistic that is tn square follows f distribution with 1 and n degrees of freedom we know that t equal to n01 divided by root of chi square n by n therefore t square equal to n01 all square divided by chi square n by n and we know that n01 square square of a standard normal variate follows a chi square distribution with 1 degree of freedom so we can rewrite this as chi square 1 by 1 and divided by chi square n by n which follows f of 1 n f distribution with 1 and n degree of freedom by definition now let us see another variable which follows f distribution that is n1 s1 square divided by n1 minus 1 divided by n2 s2 square divided by n2 minus 1 follows f distribution with n1 minus 1 and n2 minus 1 degrees of freedom n1 s1 square by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with n1 minus 1 degrees of freedom and n2 s2 square by sigma square follows a chi square distribution with n2 minus 1 degrees of freedom and let us take this expression chi square n1 minus 1 divided by n1 minus 1 divided by chi square n2 minus 1 divided by n2 minus 1 which is a f statistic ratio of two chi square statistic divided by their degrees of freedom respectively Z equal to n one s one square by sigma square by n one minus one divided by n two s two square by sigma square divided by n two minus one, which is equal to n one s one square by n one minus one divided by n two s two square by n two minus one, which follows f distribution with n one minus one. and n2 minus 1 degrees of freedom where 
S1 square and S2 square are sample variances of two samples taken from a normal population with the mean mu and sigma that is n mu sigma with n1 and n2 sample sizes respectively. And another example is if x follows f distribution with n1 and n2 degrees of freedom then y equal to n1 x follows a chi square distribution with n1 degrees of freedom as n2 tends to infinity. So these are some interrelationship between normal chi square t and f distribution. Thank you for listening the class. Thank you once again.